Question 1.2 is made up of five finance questions that were designed to assist your understanding of financial documents in the context of a statement of accounts. I give this question an overall difficulty rating of 3 out of 10. Let's take a look at the questions in detail to see why. You are given an extract from a TFG account of Mrs. Kelly for the month of February. The credit that she has available to make purchases with is 2,405 Rand and 67 cents. Her installment amount for the month is 480 Rand. This is the minimum amount that she must pay by the due date which is on the 7th of March. She has a credit limit of 8,690.50. This means that she can buy goods up to a maximum of this value using this credit facility. The opening balance for this month is 6,284.83. This is the amount that is owed by her. You know this because when she made a payment on the 22nd of February, the balance decreased to 5,804.83. This also means that any amount that increases the balance is considered to be a purchase as we can see here for the three purchases made on the 26th of February. Two values have been left out of the statement and replaced with the letters X and Y. These values are the balance after the last purchase on the 26th of February and the closing balance for the month. The closing balance Y must equal the balance after the last purchase on the 26th of February because no other transactions took place after the last purchase on that day. Now let's take a look at the 5 finance questions in detail. Question 1 to 1 instructs you to provide the amount of credit that is available to Mrs. Kelly. This value is read of the statement next to credit available as 2,405 Rand 67 cents. Question 122 instructs you to write down Mrs. Kelly's credit limit. This value is also read of the statement under credit limit as 8,690 Rand 50 cents. In question 123, you have to calculate the total value of the items Mrs. Kelly bought in February 2022. There are three purchases made in February. The sum of the cost of these three purchases is. 615 rand 50 cents plus 110 rand 25 cents plus 309 rand 80 cents and this gives you a total value of 1035 rand 55 cents. In question 124 you are instructed to calculate the values of X and Y. X is the balance after the last purchase on the 26th of February. Since the purchases increases the balance amount the balance labeled as X is calculated by adding the balance before the last purchase by the value of the purchase. So the value of X will be 6530 Rand 58 cents plus 309 Rand 80 cents and this equals 6840 Rand 38 cents. Since there is no other transactions after the last purchase on the 26th of February, the closing balance Y equals the balance of X. So Y also equals 6,840 Rand 38 cents. Question 125 instructs you to write down the installment for February 2022. This value is read of the statement next to installment as 480 Rand. Thank you for watching this video and if you found this content helpful you can subscribe to be notified of more videos like this and you can also check out this video next.